So bottomland hardwoods, uh, you know, they're a system, a forested system comprised of mostly oak and hickory species and they spend a good time of the year flooded. So they provide really vital habitat for a variety of wildlife. I'm Karen Mangan. I'm the wildlife biologist at Cypress Creek National Wildlife Refuge. The bottomland hardwoods are, have become a rare uh, community in the Midwest and uh, there's a variety of tree species, plant, uh, other plant species that live there and as a result there's unique wildlife species that utilize those habitats too. I'm Heath Hamilton, I work for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. At, I'm the Wildlife Refuge Specialist at Potoka River National Wildlife Refuge. Where we are today is in the middle of a 12,000 acre block of bottomland forest. Uh, the largest of its kind, you know, around for many, many miles. Chad Deaton is my name. Um, I'm, the, I'm the supervisory natural resource specialist uh, on, the, on the Shawnee National Forest. I'm Michael Sertle with Ducks Unlimited. I am our regional biologist for Illinois and Indiana. Here in the Central Hardwoods region where Oakwood is located, uh, we do expect a degree of climate change. We expect things like higher flooding, we're seeing transition of species uh, where areas that used to perhaps support things like oak are now more towards ash because it's wetter conditions than what it used to be. A lot of the models uh, are showing that we're likely to have winters and springs that are a lot wetter and our summers and falls are likely to be drier and hotter. We should expect to see more significant rainfall, uh, more significant flooding events, even as we look forward to the future here at the refuge. We're really seeing a, a expansion in the diversity of species of waterfowl and really an increase in the, in the duration and time of year that, that they're staying here uh, within Oakwood. My name is Leslie Brandt and I'm a climate change specialist with the U.S. Forest Service and the Northern Institute of Applied Climate Science. A few years ago, Ducks Unlimited approached me about putting together a workshop to integrate climate change considerations into bottomland forest management. The partnership between Ducks Unlimited, the Fish and Wildlife Service, and the Forest Service is really unique in that there are some common goals and objectives across these organizations to restore these ecosystems. They're being done in a climate-informed manner in a several ways. Because we're doing a lot of restoration of forested areas, we're thinking a lot more about the species that we're using. And we're trying to focus on species that are more likely to do better. And we also try, have been trying to get a more broad diversity of species and genotypes from different areas, just to hedge our bets that we're gonna get better survival over time. What you'll see on our restoration sites is that we're starting to choose species that we're gonna try here and see how they do. And we know that there's some species that are, their range is really close to the refuge. Maybe they weren't historically found right here on Potoka River National Wildlife Refuge, but they were found maybe a few counties south of here. And we've started to add a few of those to this site in particular. Really what we're looking at is, is the ability to manage flooding later, to manage flooding every other year or in different years, and really try to provide that kind of uh, historic diversity in hydrology and flooding timing to really help these birds stay over the long term in the winter uh, and, and again in spring for birds adding nutrients on as they head north uh, to go to their our breeding grounds. Ultimately, um, from a conservation standpoint, we're looking at a landscape level plan for all the conservation work that we're hopefully doing in the Midwest and we're working with our partners. And this is gonna be one part of that corridor, one part of that hub of biodiversity and we hope that it's the most diverse piece of bottomland hardwood forest that, that we can produce here through our restoration efforts.